What my mama said. My mama said, <clears throat> we ought to be building bridges instead of walls. I was just thinking about Jesus, how he believed in building bridges instead of walls. Now we're told to protect ourselves from Satan. So, you know, we can build a wall in that situation. But when it comes to human communication, we ought to be building bridges. Bridges help us to connect from one side to the other. And in the meantime, while you're trying to get over to the other side, you're passing a lot of empty spaces. And we carry a lot of emptiness in our hearts because we won't allow people to come through and fill those empty spaces. We won't allow the love of God to come in and fill those empty spaces. We put walls. You begin to tell you about the Lord, you throw up a wall. You begin to tell you about yourself, you throw up a wall. You begin to tell you about your kids, you throw up a wall. Rather than allowing that person to walk across that bridge with you so that you can learn to connect one with the other. Sometimes when people are telling you about your children, they're telling you for their child's the betterment or their child's future. They're not telling you just because they hate your kids. If your kid can be so bad, people will hate to see him coming. They'll hate to see you coming with that kid. <laughs> and people don't tell you about yourself to hurt you. The Bible says that it's better to receive a wound from a friend than flattering words from an enemy. Somebody who's just trying to tell you anything just to stay close to you. I don't want a friend like that. I want somebody who will tell me the truth so that I can improve. I want somebody to help me build a bridge from one situation to the other and I'd be able to cross over all those empty spaces. And so I had just been thinking about this fact of building bridges. When Jesus taught forgiveness, he was teaching you how to build a bridge. He said, if you know that your brother has something against you, you come to the worship service, if you know that there's a problem, leave your sacrifice there and you go make peace with your brother. The Lord said if there's a problem and you talk over with a, pro a person and they don't want to hear it, then you take another witness with you. Try to talk to that person. If they don't want to hear it. Then you finally have to end up telling it to the church. Why? Because the church might have somebody that can go and talk about it with that person, get it taken care of. What was Jesus doing? He was build, helping you to know how to build a bridge to repair relationships. Now, when somebody will just tell you whatever you want to hear, and somebody will just go with you on whatever it is that you're saying, that person is not your friend, and they're not concerned about your soul. All they're concerned about is that you don't come against them, and then they know they pretty well in a safe place, but they're not helping you. Your soul, like what the Bible tells us, to discipline our children so that we can spare their souls from hell. Some people won't discipline their kids because they want to stay friends with the kids. They want to stay in compliance with the government because the government says, don't spank your kid. The government says, don't say no to your child. You have to say no to them if you love them. I would say if you don't discipline, they might as well be little, like little bastard kids. That means a kid that has no father who will teach them in the right way. And so as we go through this life, we want to be building bridges and stop putting up so many walls. Because after a while, you're in an encasement with all these walls. You got a wall of hate. You got a wall of unforgiveness. You got a wall of doubt. You got a wall of feeling like nobody cares. When you put those walls up, nobody didn't put them up for you. You put them up and encased yourself inside, and then you wonder where everybody is. While everybody else is out here walking back and forth across the bridge, enjoying themselves from one side of the city to the next, because they got the city of hope. Or they can walk across the bridge into the city of hope. They can walk back across the bridge to the city of love and just enjoy themselves. I want to encourage everybody. Think about it. Start building bridges instead of walls. Thank you.